Well, NBC is extremely upset that the president may have paid off uh, a former girlfriend. We should keep in mind, though, that NBC, the same people, protected serial harasser Harvey Weinstein, now accused of rape. NBC also made its own payoffs to people who said they were victims of harassment. But again, they're still very upset over the president's response to what are, in effect, extortion threats. They say Trump directed, that's the word for lawyer Michael Cohen, to cover up a campaign contribution in the form of payments to two women with whom he had sexual relations. Some top Republicans are dismissing the allegations that Donald Trump directed his former fixer Michael Cohen to make illegal hush money payments to two women during the 2016 campaign. It's incredible. To me, this is despicable. A simple private transaction in which a porn star was paid $130,000 to keep silent in the final months of a presidential campaign. There ain't nothing simple about that. Let's remember, these payoffs are about the president having affairs with women soon after his wife had a baby. Joe Concha writes about media at the Hill newspaper, and he joins us tonight. Joe, I mean, I just, looking at the shock on Chris Matthews' face that somebody may have paid off an accuser, I mean, I could tell that he was wounded, distressed, stunned that that happens in Washington. How did these, you know, th these, these people are very gentle souls over at NBC. They've never seen anything like this. Yeah, and you talked with Mark Penn Tucker in the last segment about hypocrisy, and with Chris Matthews, Matthews in his case, uh, he had to pay off a woman uh, who he had made uh, sexually inappropriate comments to in front of other people. Uh, that number was $40,000. The network argues, no, no, it was, it was much less. But the point is that a separation compensation was made, a transaction was made. And NBC, Tucker's, had its problems, clearly. We all know about Matt Lauer. Mark Halperin, uh, as we sh uh, should not soon forget, he was not with NBC at the time, but he was let go from the network last year, usually on Morning Joe. Harold Ford Jr., Morning Joe as well. So, look, this is the same network that spiked the Harvey Weinstein story that Ronan Farrow only took to another publication and won a Pulitzer for. And here's some irony for you, by the way. The person that was supposed to review Farrow's work to see if it should go to air or print or not uh, had to pay off $1 million. NBC Universal had to pay off on his behalf $1 million after he was accused of sexual harassment. That's per a September Daily Beast report. So, look, I could go on and on. Remember the Access Hollywood tape? We talked about it on this show. Very that tape well. gets out to the Washington Post, yes, two days before a crucial presidential election. An investigation was never done, and we never were told why that tape or how that tape got out. So hypocrisy, yeah, it's pretty much on display It's just here. striking to me. I mean, I've been in this most of my life. I know all the people involved. They're the last group that should be judging other people's sex lives. Does nobody, and I'm not attacking anybody, I'm just, let's, let's stop lying for a second. This is literally the last group in America that will be judging other people's sex lives. Does anybody on any of these sets of the other channels say, you know what, maybe we shouldn't say that. Maybe it's just too hypocritical for us. Maybe we should pull back just a little bit. No? Report, right, Tucker, report it, but don't be so pious about it, right? So if, if you see CBS doing a report, well, clearly you have less Moonves there. And look, uh, Fox had its problems as well, clearly. Yeah. The difference I see, though, between, say, NBC and Fox was Fox took in an outside firm to do an investigation. And some of the most powerful people at that network, at your network, uh, are no longer there. Uh, so that, that's, I think, the way it has to be done, that when these things happen, investigations, in NBC's case, they did it themselves. So, of course, people in power aren't going to be going anywhere. You got to bring so an outside NBC firm if you never, really want they, transparency. They never did a real investigation. It was all a, a fake Potemkin investigation in how they never had anybody from outside look into any of these allegations. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And and look, as far as what we're seeing with the Russia investigation, that's what's called the Russia investigation, not the campaign finance investigation. And Mark Penn brought it up before. Monica Lewinsky, 1998. If you go after a president and say that it reaches the level of impeachment to remove him from office over trying to cover up uh, an affair, in, in Clinton's case, obviously lying under oath, you know what happened post-impeachment? Because Republicans did impeach him. They just didn't remove him from office because they didn't have two-thirds right. in the Senate. Clinton's approval rating in Gallup post-impeachment, 73%. So you better make this about collusion between Trump and Russia, because if you go after it any other way and the media plays, again, I'm using the word, is so pious about it, well, you better remember 1998 because the boomerang effect was extraordinary as it pertained to Bill Clinton. I really think NBC needs an independent counsel to get to the bottom of, of what's going on there, but we can talk about that in a special counsel. Future episode. Great to see you. Joe Concha, thank you very much.